What's happening, RecTech family? I'm Ray Carnes, and I'm showing you my favorite Thanksgiving turkey recipe. Check it out. Okay, guys, the first thing I do is you go get a nice turkey. We got about a 16 pounder. What I like to do with this turkey is I like to get it to room temp. But a little trick I do is I put some ice on the breast. I want to get them a little cooler uh, so they'll cook a little slower. Uh, they tend to get done faster than the dark meat and dry out. So I want to slow that process down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make our base for our injection. So what we're going to do is take about 64 ounces of chicken broth and we're going to turn this chicken broth into a uh, turkey broth, if, if you will. So uh, we're going to put this in here. Let me turn this on. And we are going to add one stick of butter. We're going to get a bundle of rosemary and a bundle of thyme. This smells like Thanksgiving, you know what I mean? Get you some butcher twine and just tie this bundle together so it's easy to get out. And uh, you're going to throw that in there. This makes the house smell great too around Thanksgiving. And I usually get this going first thing in the morning and let it kind of stew all day. Um, but put that in there. And then you want to take the giblets out of the turkey. We also want to trim this excess off the turkey uh, here at the back. And uh, we're going to put that in there as well. We're going to add one tablespoon of your favorite hot sauce. I use sriracha. And um, you don't want it to be a recognizable like heat or anything that somebody says is spicy, just a hint of it. And then I'm going to use a tablespoon of our Casanova uh, rub. You want to use a rub that's very fine um, because again, we're going to be injecting with this. So you want it to be able to go the, through the injector very easy. So we're going to use about a, a tablespoon of this. I also added two tablespoons of better than bouillon chicken base and bring that to a boil. Let everything uh, kind of mingle together. Bring those flavors together. Bring out about half of that mixture to inject into your turkey. Okay, so what we did, we let this uh, brought it to a boil for about 15 minutes. We removed about half the uh, mixture. We put it in an ice bath, a trick at home. If you don't have a, you know, a, a big pot like this to put in an ice bath, sometimes I'll take Ziploc bags, put some ice in there, seal them and float them in the bowl just to bring that down to at least room temperature so you can uh, remove the injection. We're gonna get this uh, turkey injected and then we'll get down to RecTech. We're gonna be cooking at 350 degrees. So uh, we're gonna bring this turkey over and, and, and get it injected. Okay, so we got this bird injected. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna season up the outside. This is nice to have a helper, okay? Because it's nice when you start seasoning it and you flip it, some of it comes off. So it's nice just to keep this bird airborne. Our amazing turkey could not get easier on the rec tech. We did this bird at 350 degrees until we hit an internal of 170 in the thigh, 165 in the breast. Check us out at rectechgrills.com. Try this recipe. I promise you won't be sorry and you can't get a prettier bird. Take care. Have a good day.